What's up guys, it's your boy Core, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you like dope art and you like to be entertained, then go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button along with the bell notification so you can be notified when I'm dropping that Guys, we have an educational but yet fun painting video today. Sweet! I, Mua, will be showing you how to paint like a pro, or painting for beginners, or how to paint with acrylic paint. Anyway, just follow along if you want to learn how to paint some dope art. So you wanna paint like a pro, huh? You wanna paint like Pablo Picasso, or paint Campbell's soup cans like Andy Warhol. Or better yet, you wanna paint like the late great Bob Ross and paint uh, happy clouds there and, and, and tree friends here. Decide, maybe there's a happy tree evergreen tree he lives right there well guess what there's no landscape paintings on this channel fucking right all right if you want to paint some dope art you found the right channel and you definitely found the right artist all right now let's start with the basics all right step one Pick your paint. Now there's a huge variety of paints to pick from, like oil paints, acrylic paints, watercolor, and even gouache. What? I think I'm saying that right. But anyway, we're going to focus on acrylic paint because that's what I like to use all the time, every time. Now there's a huge variety of acrylic paints in itself, like spray paint. Spray paint is used to cover large spaces. You see artists use it for murals. Um, you have heavy body acrylic paint, which is a thicker consistency, but very opaque. You have the basic acrylic paint, which is very transparent. You have to use multiple layers of it just to have it opaque. Then you have one of my favorite, which is a fluid acrylic paint, which is easy to manipulate and use on any surface, but it's also opaque as well. So those are the paints we're using today. So make sure you grab your paint so we can get started. Step two, paint supplies. Let's run down a list of all the paint supplies you need to start painting like a pro. We talked about using acrylic paint, so gather all your acrylic paint Next, you will need paint brushes. Make sure you gather a bunch of paint brushes varying in different size from large to small. You will also need a paint palette and that's just to put your paint in while you're using it. Then you will need a palette knife and that's just to use to mix up paint, make different colors, or you can actually use it as a paint brush and paint with it. Then you will need a blow dryer. Now, I don't know about you, I'm not going to sit here all day and watch paint dry. So just to speed up the process, I like to use a blow dryer and I highly recommend you do it as well. Then you will need a cup of water and that's just to clean your brushes after using it. Then I like to use paper towels to wipe off my paint brushes if I need to use the same paint brush for a different paint. Next, you will have an easel, and that's just to put your canvas on. And last but not least, your canvas, all right? You need something to paint on, whatever that might be, you need a canvas. Now, the next supply is optional, but it's up to you, and that is an apron, okay? I don't like getting paint on me but my hands, so I don't want it on my clothes or anything like that, but if you're a savage, I'm a savage! Oh! You don't have to use an apron, all right? You can just paint freely, all right? Step three, pick your concept or design. Whatever that may be, have an idea on what you wanna paint on your canvas. In our case, I took the liberty of picking what we're painting today, and that is... That's right, guys. I'm painting a sock puppet. Please. Mr. Sucko. Step four. Ain't nobody got time for that. Guys, I know that concept sounds goofy, but just bear with me. If you're new to the channel, 
trust me trust me it's going to be dope and if you're already subscribed you know you know step four lay your sketch down on your canvas I like to use a pencil, but some artists use their paintbrush and paint and just get straight into it. But I like to use a pencil so I can lay my concept down and just paint from there. All right, so now that we got step four out the way, let's go ahead and start sketching on our canvas and then we'll continue the conversation. Let's go sketch. Yeah, love. Yeah. Look, look. I pity the that step to me though. Float too clean. I'm bite by new tuxedos. Been the shit since now. Later popping and buying hot Cheetos. The free. Th I like to use pencil when I'm sketching on canvas because it lays down a good guideline for me before I start painting. And I also mentioned that some artists use their paint and paintbrushes to sketch on the canvas. I don't like to do that because I find it difficult to sketch one and two, I, when I'm sketching a subject and I mess up with the proportions or trying to be accurate, I don't like to waste paint. So that's why I use a pencil and I can easily erase my mistakes. They're making cheese, sushi overseas. The server, she's speaking Japanese. Flights to Paris, I'm at the Louvre to see Mona Lisa. Got a Desenata with rip seats and all your leaks. Kick. Step five is optional, but I highly recommend it. And that is use a reference. Whenever you are drawing and painting, try to use a reference photo of that same subject you are drawing and painting because it helps you get a better understanding of what you are creating uh, from proportions to where the light is casting and all in all just helps you get a accurate design on whatever you are creating but there is absolutely nothing wrong with using your creativity and imagination when painting and drawing um, in my case, I'm sketching on these canvases, uh, these sock puppets, and I just wanted to get a reference of how the socks fold, all the creases. So I Googled some images of some sock puppets just so I can get a better understanding of what I'm creating. And then it's a great foundation for me to build my own style and own design on top of it. So yeah, use a reference if you can. They're making cheese, sushi overseas. The server, she's speaking Japanese. Flights to Paris, I'm at the Louvre to see Mona Lisa. Got a Desenata with rip seats and all your leaks. Kick it like Messi, little Nick, you shouldn't test me. Right so good, just started working on my lefty. I Climbing up the charts if these let me getting everything that's mine. I'm charging from levies. Relaxing, man. I stay in action. Natural believer got me feeling like Imagine Dragons. 2017, I quit my job because it had to happen. I got the sketches done on the canvases. Now I'm going to spray paint the backgrounds. I like to paint from back to front because it's just easier to me, but it really doesn't matter how you paint. So let's go ahead and start spray painting these backgrounds. <laughs> Lately I've been low down, losing all control Henny with the soda, I've been on a roll Life been taking toll, I just wanna roam I've been running from them bad days, trying to take it slower Party on occasion, that should ease the weight off my shoulders, yeah I said we only getting older, yeah and Tell me are you coming over, I need to know is you falling through? Tell me what the move is. Girl, it's been a cool minute. Yeah. So this is a great example of when to use spray paint. I'm using the spray paint to paint the background that will cover a large amount of surface space, so I don't have to waste time hand painting it. Wanna hear you say you still believe in me? I just wanna know. Right, guys we're gonna jump right into it after the spray paint has dried we're gonna move on to painting 
And like I mentioned before, I like to work from back to front. That's just because it's easier for me, but you can work in any order you like. Now right here, I'm adding a shadow to the sock puppet because it's going to add some dimension to the painting. And I like how it looks like it's popping off the canvas. Now the technique that I'm using is dry brushing. I'm adding a little bit of blue and black paint to a dry brush just to give that shadow effect. That's what I'm doing right here. Touching for the meaning, hate the way we treat this. Why you in a rush? Do you got no business sleeping? Why you always leaving? Know you want that repeat. Yeah, he ain't no way around it. We got an angel about us. You got your way about you. Now much to say about it. Still have your way around me. They say it was something special. Is it better when we left it? All this inside of my head. Knowing you're ready, I just wanna know. Tell me it's the real thing. Tell me it's the real thing. I just wanna know. Tell me it's the real thing. I just wanna know. I just wanna know. Tell me it's the real thing. Tell me it's the real thing. I just wanna know. Tell me it's the real thing. Tell me it's the real thing. So this is a great example of me working dark to light. So for instance, I'm working on this eye button of the sock puppet and I like to lay a base coat of paint down first. In this case, it is red and then I'll add some dark red and then I'll finish off with highlights. And think of it this way, anything in the background which is further away from you is going to be darker than anything in the foreground which is going to be lighter because it's closer to you. Doing this will add more dimension to your painting and also make it more realistic. We dumb high, I heard you taking shots, we pulled up on them, they was gun shy. 2 p.m. in Rome, we at the chapel eating. Going back to step five, use a reference. I knew I wanted to use a brown tortoise button for the sock puppet's other eye, so I googled the image of a brown tortoise button so I could paint it accurately. It's as real as you imagine. Okay. My Jewish girl was tight, cause I ain't link on the Sabbath, but it's Friday and I got a few robins I need a basket Playing traffic if you wanna play the faction We don't act, we getting active Stacking cash and dodging taxes My father was a Catholic Never taught me how to practice But with music I'm a Baptist Christen all these fucking tracks I bless these raps with Standing in the middle of the marsh Also, I would like to add, when you're painting or you're drawing, you must have a little understanding of shapes, colors, values, contrast, um, where light is hitting a subject or object. Um, for example, like this cigarette that I'm working on, the overall shape of it is a cylinder. So I have to get the values and the tones right so I can turn this 2D image into a 3D image. Drop some buckets and then we take the bucket. Just trying to reach the peak before I finally plump. I'm working dark to light and I'm starting to blend colors together so you can see the gradient from dark uh, middle tones and then light um, I'm on the light part and now I'm going to start blending the colors together and I usually add uh, start from the lightest point and work my way back to the dark point and add colors that I need so if in this case add a little more white that I need or mixing a little gray or black or whatnot to get that smooth blend to look like a whole piece but it's Friday and I got a few robins I need a basket playing Traffic. If you wanna play the faction, we don't act, we getting active, stacking
stacking cash and dodging taxes My father was a Catholic, never taught me how to practice But with music, I'm a Baptist Christen all these fucking tracks, I bless these raps with Standing in the middle of the mind sock and we're working our way down to the arm of the painting um, I couldn't find any references uh, for uh, sock folds kind of so I kind of just conceptualize each fold or crease in what a thick cotton sock will look like so um, there's nothing wrong with actually conceptualizing your own ideas and putting it on canvas so let me get back to this painting We are done. Listen, if you followed along with every tip that I used in this video, maybe, just maybe, you can paint something dope too. I hope so. Anyway, we're done with the painting, well this painting, and uh, yeah, I guess it's time to show you all what we came up with. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. B-Roll, please! No watch, no diamonds, no watch, good timing, yeah. No watch, no diamonds, no watch, good timing. Yeah, need no middleman, I'm the man of man, send it in I like what I like, me, I know my rights, it's sipping in I like having fun, I do what I want, it's what it is For my son and son, for my daughters, yes, yeah, for my twin I work through the night, I do what I like, get a check I go for the ride, I've been down the ride, for the win Still move on the hush, never run for none I face my fears, I just drop a nine, month to month Still from year to year New watch, no diamonds, new watch, good timing, yeah. New watch, no diamonds, new watch, good timing, yeah. I'm sporty and rich, I'm sporty and rich, I'm sporty and rich. Do it again, again, again. I'm sporty and rich, I'm sporty and rich, I'm sporty and rich. Do it again, again, again. Get some checks, I invest and I spend a check. Spend a check, get it back, then I take a rest. Only race is the human, I take care of my skin I was doing this as a rookie, now I'm up to vet Set the, set the trance, set the pace of play I don't trip, but if I fall, bet I make a way I take trips in the fall, watch the least change I like to treat every day all right, that was the painting. It turned out super dope. So, of course, it gets a certified dopeness. Let me know what you all think about the painting in the comments down below. I had so much fun painting this. Even though the subject matter was as simple as a sock puppet, it turned out super dope. Guys, I hope you learned something from this video because I don't consider myself a good teacher at all. But I believe in you and I trust you and I know you can do it. But even still, if you don't,
You can hit me up on my website at RottenCoreArt.com and commission me to paint something dope for you if you want. All right. All the materials that we're using in this video will be down in the description as well. So check those out. Thank you guys for stopping by and make sure you come back for the other sock puppet. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for the support to this channel and to the next one. Peace. I'm sporty and rich. Do it again, again, again. I'm sporty and rich. I'm sporty and rich. I'm sporty and rich. Do it again, again, again. Do it again.